WNDS Sports and Plant State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to the London Dairy Bowling Center. It's another Saturday edition of Candlepin Skins here on the Winds of New England. Doug Brown, along with Dan Murphy, happy to be with you again, of course. And uh, oh, I would say it's probably fairly safe to say at this point, Dan, that uh, Bob Mazur is very, very comfortable here at the London Dairy Bowling Center. He won the roll-off here that was held uh, several weeks ago with a 689, and now he has been the top finisher in pinfall the first two weeks since he has come on the program. Yeah, and even last week he had a slow start, too, and he came on strong in the end. He has bowled very, very well, and now he's got the hang of what the skins is all about, <laughs> so he's, he's all set now. Won a lot of money last week, $270. Bob will be back for his third straight appearance. Rich Lottie from Stoneham, Massachusetts, back for his fourth straight appearance, and they will be joined today by Scott Goss of Meredith, New Hampshire, and Don Nato of Nashua, New Hampshire. And here are our rules for candle pin skins. This is how it works. The bowlers compete individually. They go one box at a time. In each box, the high score wins the skin. If there is a tie for the high score, the money carries over to the next box. And the top two finishers in total pinfall will return the following week. The money situation, $10 each the first three boxes, $15 each the next three. The following three are worth 25 each, and then the 10th and final box in each game is worth $50. Of course, the hope is to get a lot of carryovers, let that money pile up a bit, and it's been happening here in recent weeks here on Candlepin Skins. So Bob Mazur and Rich Lottie are back again, and they will take on two new challengers. As we continue on Candlepin Skins, we'll get the match started right after these words. Welcome back to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire, the home of Candlepin Skins, Rich Lottie, to start the match. With a nine drop. And Don Nato, a newcomer. Spare for Rich Lottie. Don Nato bounces back with a good second ball. And it'll be a nine for Don. Don making his first appearance with us here on the wins. Scott Goss was here with us not too long ago. That's correct. Big first ball, drops eight, maybe more. No, it'll be eight. Now it'll be nine. <laughs> Another one toppled over as we went over to lane 29 to watch Bob Mazur. Scott Goss was with, was with us back in November for his first appearance. Struggled in that skins appearance, but he starts here with a spare. And Bob Mazur cannot make it happen. The spare by Scott Goss will carry over this first skin. And it's a 10 for Bob Mazur. So we're underway with our first carryover. $20 in the second box, Don Nato. And he'll shoot at the four horsemen on the right to one, three, six, and 10. Rich Lottie, on a spare, takes out five. For Rich now, it'll be the one, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he missed the object. Don Nato takes another nine. Rich Lottie has ten. Well, Scott Goss, I'm sure, has been uh, looking forward to returning since that appearance in November. He was just here for the one week on 
candle pin skins. This is Bob Mazur. Things have been working very nicely for him the last two weeks. Scott looks like it brought a set of bowling balls that match his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even know what color shirt he <laughs> You don't suppose he brought four different sets I of bowling know. balls with him, do you? <laughs> Bob trying for the 2 9 10, and it falls the wrong way. Scott Goss waiting for Cindy Sissom to check on a piece of wood that has moved out front. The 1 8 9 and 10 will await Scott for this spare opportunity. I don't know if I'd call it an opportunity necessarily, <laughs> but you never know. Left-hander will give it a try. It was a six fill on his first mark. Bob Mazur takes nine. And if Scott Goss makes this, it'll be a carryover, <laughs> but he doesn't. So it'll be Rich Lottie's $20 skin with a 10 box. Rich Lottie, box number three, worth $10. Don Nato with the half Worcester. A little full on head pin is Rich Lottie. And Don will shoot right in the pocket, that close to a spare. Everything but the seven pin. Rich takes eight. Don takes 10. So once again, Scott and Bob come up with no marks on the board. Rich's 10 won that last skin. Nice. Bob Mays are in the pocket, but look at the leave. The four and the five. Scott Goss, not much better to shoot at. The two, four, and six. They'll both be open. We could have another 10 winner here. Unless uh, Scott pulls off a miraculous shot, Don Nato could win a skin with a 10. He doesn't. Let's see what Bob does. Can he have it? Yes, he does. So Bob Mazur halves that skin with a 10. Very, very close, just five pins from top to bottom right now. Carry over skin now worth $25, and Don Nato with his first mark, a big strike. Come on, carry it. There's the bit to carry it over. Five and eight pins left for Rich Lottie. You know, if that, well, Wood's got a nice angle if it would roll back. <laughs> I think it's staying there though, and that'll have to be checked as well. So Don Nato gets the strike up on the board, takes high fives from his competitors back on the bench, and he'll wait and see if either of them can match it to take the skin away from him. It's a $25 carry over here in box number four. Rich Lottie misfiring on the spare attempt. And it's a nine. That gives him 42. Don at 38 plus two balls. And Scott Goss will bowl his fourth frame, as will Bob Mazer. Bob first. He can't strike. And Scott can either. So that's a $25 skin for Don Nato. Almost a spare for Bob Mazur. Good effort. And almost a spare for Scott Goss, too. And they'll both take nines.
The fifth box now worth $15. The score is still very close here. Extremely close. Two tied at 42, two with 38, although Don will be filling a strike. Rich Lottie to go first, and he puts up a big nine drop. Wow, I thought that was a strike for sure. Don Nato on the strike, looking for a break, doesn't get one. How did Rich, miss, Rich Lottie miss the 10 pin on that first ball? And now he's missed it again for the spare. And the 10. 52 through five for Rich. 51 through five for Don Nato. Scott will have to get a re-rack as he tried to clear a ball down there on lane 30. Tomorrow at noon on Candlepin Stars and Strikes, week three of our current series, Bill Coffold will go for his second win in a row. He will face our number two seed, Bob Kelly. Scott Goss. Bob Mazur leaves a spare opportunity. Good break off the head pin, leaves himself just the one and the three. Scott Goss with the one, oh, yes, nice great shot. shot. Didn't have a chance to play it straight up, but with the wood he was able to make it happen. And he earns himself a skin. He does indeed for $15 here in box number five. And that'll be a 10 box for Bob Mazur. So we've first reached our first break. The score's very, very close as you can see here on Candlepin Skins. We'll be back. Don Nato, box number six. Don's got himself a couple of skins, won that with a strike. Has a spare leave there. Rich Lottie just missed the head pin. Just missed it. Don Nato for the spare. Lottie leaves the head pin, clears out the other three pins. But... Ten box for Rich. He's only got the one mark. That came in the first box. Been open since then. But the scores are close, so nobody breaking away yet. Here's Bob Mazur. Scott Goss, well, it's not exactly a spare leave, but he made a fine shot a moment ago, so let's see if he can turn another one. Not this time. Bob Mazur takes nine. And the skin will go to Don Nato with the spare. $15 skin. And a nine for Scott Goss. So that's three skins already, $40 for Don Nato. And we move to the seventh, which is now worth $25. Rich Lottie will have a spare leave. Don Nato working on a spare, just two, the half Worcester. Careful, the eight pin, the nine pin in the back. That's Carried very nicely it. done. Yes. Looked like the ball stayed with it and followed right through to take out the nine. So Rich gets his second mark. Don trying to work himself out of this box. And it's just five. So a spare up for Rich here in the seventh. That's what Scott and Bob have to shoot at for the skin. Bob Mazur is the only guy who has yet to win a skin. And Bob is going to have a shot at the four horsemen here.
spare to have the skin. Oh, no. boy. Looked like he had that spare. Scott Goss. No. And Bob doesn't get it either. Seven pin robs both of them, and that's a $25 skin for Rich Lottie. That one's a 10 for Scott, the 9 for Bob. The score is still very, very close. Yeah, even Bob Mazur hasn't, not only hasn't had a skin, he hasn't had a mark either, and he's still, oh, some 11 pins back oh, of the leader. Don Nato, solid first ball, leaves the five pin. Rich Lottie buries his first ball, and look at that. The five, seven, and eight with no wood. Don Nato converts the spare on the single. That's three marks in a row for Don over on lane 30. Rich Lottie slipped at the foul line. Rich is in the lead at the moment say at the moment because it's so close. He takes a nine, Don puts the spare up. So it's gonna take another spare or the strike to win the skin. Spare, of course, the carryover and the strike to win. First, Bob Mazur. Well, no strike, and a difficult spare leave. Scott Goss now, the left-hander. Well, he'll shoot at the two, eight, and 10. That wood may snap for Scott Goss. Let's see what Bob Mazur does. Not quite. Shoot it! Yes! Got it to have the skin. Scott Goss spares in the eighth. Bob Mazur takes a nine. Let's get another look at it. Scott Goss. So the ninth box is now worth $50. Rich Lottie to shoot first. Come on, carry the back one. All right, Rich, give me that pretty shot. Don Nato on the head pin. Neither guy has a very easy shot in spite of trying to get some mix on that first ball. Rich Lottie converts, though, for a spare. Very nice spare it was. Don just missed on the three pin. And it's an eight. 92 through nine for Don, and let's check out Rich Lottie's spare. Plays it on the inside of the head pin. It would be the left side in this case, and domino effect for that spare. Once again, a spare to tie, a strike to win in terms of the skin here in the ninth for either Scott Goss or Bob Mazur. Scott first. Not much to shoot at there, and just five on his mark. And even worse there. <laughs> And no mark. <laughs> well, let's see. There is wood. And oh, it's a spare does. for Scott Goss to have the skin again. Come on, come back. Well, Bob Mazur gave that a pretty good run. <laughs> Ten for Bob. He's still looking for his very first mark, but he's far from out of this. Here's Scott's mark. Right Perfectly the, positioned. Right in the one-two pocket. We move to the 10th, which is worth $100. Don Nato leaves five. Rich Lottie working on a spare. Just four. Rich for the spare, yes indeed. Robbed himself with the four fill, but he com comes back to convert it for the spare. The 10 for Don Nato, so he'll finish with a 102 opening game. And Rich Lottie will get to fill his spare in the 10th now. Three marks in the last four boxes for Rich. It's a five and a 117. Which could leave him no worse than second. Big ball for Scott Goss coming up. First, Bob Mazur. Still looking for his first mark. Scott Goss has two in a row, filling a spare here. 
And he's got the big nine drop and a chance for another one, a chance to have the skin again as well. well he could be spoiler again. So Bob will go through the first game without a mark and it'll either be a $100 skin for Rich Lottie or another carryover if Scott Goss can make this single pin. He's had to wait a long time for this wood to stop spinning. Finally does, he has a clear shot at the five pin for his third mark in a row. He will have the lead in total pinfall regardless. Oh, he's got it. He was right on it the whole way. Bob Mazur takes a nine, he'll have a 94. Scott at 121 plus this ball. He will take six more, 127. And the pinfall lead after game one for Scott Goss. Rich Lottie second at 117. Don Nato 102 and Bob Mazur 94. And we're back with game two with a big carryover to start in a minute. Here's how the money has gone so far. Uh, all in the first seven boxes. We're in the middle of a big carry over here. Rich Lottie with $45 to lead the way, and Rich will start game two as we go to box number one here of game two with a carry over. It's now worth $110. And Rich, everything but the seven. Nope, that'll be a nine box as he clipped the piece of wood in the channel, so that will cost him, and he'll have to take a nine. And that will bring us to Don Nato making his first appearance here with us on the wins from Nashua, New Hampshire. And oh, look at that, big strike. You hear the bowlers chatting about it in the background. Don Nato's second strike of the match, and that could be worth 110 bucks. Looking better and better. Scott Goss right through the middle, a one, five, and eight pin. Spread Eagle plus the nine pin left. Decides to go on the right hand side and still has five pins standing. He is our leader by one pin over. Well, actually, he's a few more now. Seven pins over Rich Lottie. Just a six box there though for Scott, and last chance for the carry over here as Bob Mazur will try and match Don Nato's strike. And it doesn't happen. So Don Nato takes the biggest skin of the day so far at $110. That's a four box carry over. Spare for Bob Mazur. Right now Bob, Bob's concerned with total pinfall. He's a low man on the totem pole here with a 104. As you can see, box is completed. Top two come back. Oh, big strike for Rich Lottie. One box too late for the carryover. This box is only worth $10 now. And that's exactly what Rich just said. <laughs> One box too late. Don Nato on his strike. Whew. He had a shot at another one. Instead, he'll have a look at a spare. That would maybe in play. Looks like it might be. Well, let's see. Cindy Sisson will go down to check it. Don Nato from Nashua works as a production worker for RDF Corporation in Hudson. Does a lot of his bowling at the Lita Lanes in Nashua. That wood was out of play, so he'll have a clear shot at the four and eight for the spare. Spare on strike, and he is all of a sudden making a move toward the leaders. Scott Goss, right in the pocket, almost halved the skin. Big nine drop. 
four pin. And Scott is dead on it for the spare. Last chance, Bob Mazer must throw a strike to have the skin or it's gonna be Rich Lotties. Bob's in the pocket again, but not enough for the strike. So $10 for Rich Lottie. <laughs> and a spare for Bob Mazer. So Mark's all the way across in that second box. It's getting closer. Sure is. 21 pins separate all four bowlers. Well, I'll tell you what, Rich Lottie has this format pretty much figured out. This is his fourth week here in a row. On, and the last three weeks he's finished second every time. <laughs> Made himself some money. Keeps coming back. Bounced back from an 89 opening string two weeks ago to keep the streak going. Oh, misses the spare there on the strike. $10 third box here, by the way. Right, 10 for Rich. Meanwhile, Bob Mazur's in his third week, and he's been the high scorer the last two weeks. Don Nato and Scott Goss trying to break up this Rich Lottie, Bob Mazur dynasty. <laughs> Don with just six on his mark. One, three, six, and nine pins left. Trying to make it three in a row. Ooh. No. And it's an eight. Scott Goss now to work on a mark. Scott from Meredith, New Hampshire, the Lakes region. Works as the manager and mechanic at the Meredith Lanes. Scott and his wife are, beg your pardon, Scott has a daughter, Rachel. Scott cleans it up for a 10. Just a five on the mark, but he gets the 10. Remember, Scott was the overall leader coming into this game, and he narrowly maintains the lead now by just three pins over Rich Lottie. Bob Mazer now working on a spare. By the way, two tens up for this skin, so if Bob were able to convert this. Well, he's gonna try to split the three and the six. Piece of wood that may snap back for him. Look at this. Nope, so it's a carryover to box number four which will be worth $25. And Bob Mazur will take an eight. So four marks last time, four opens this time. And those scores on the bottom tell the story. That's how close it is. Still 22 pins from top to bottom with only seven boxes to go in the match. Rich has got everybody right where he wants him. He's in second place. <laughs> Inside, not quite enough for the mark. And the nine. Lottie takes care of the house cleaning. You see 164 now leads the pack. Let's see. Wow. Don Nato looked for a moment like he might be left with the 7 9, then the 9 kicked out. Now the 7 pin for a spare. And he's Ooh. got it. <laughs> Playing it on the inside, as it were. <laughs> Didn't want to hurt it. Puts him at 156 plus a ball, so he's going to be right there. Scott Goss already at 158. But he needs a mark to keep pace. There it is. Yeah. 
You heard one of the bowlers call it in the background right after he released the ball. They had a good look at it. That is two marks up, two spares up now here in the fifth, and it'll take a strike for Bob Major to win the skin. And he pulled that ball to the left. He's got to worry about that total pinfall, so he needs marks of any kind. He's shooting at the 1, 8, 9, and 10. Cindy Sissom is getting a workout today, and she will have to... That one is definitely in. Yeah, that looks in. It looks like part of it is still hanging over the plate. The 1, 8, 9, 10. Actually, Bob probably, probably would be happy to be use it, I would think. No? Nice off him. Decided to stay away from it, so that'll be a carryover, and the fifth box will be worth $40 now. That might have been a spare using the wood there for Bob. He's at 146. 22 pins out of the lead at 168 is Scott Goss working on a mark. Here's Rich Lottie again. Well, Rich has the 4-5, and the wood, unfortunately, is in back. But it may be frozen. I think if he's on the 5-pin, it, it might kick forward for him. Or better yet, maybe on the 4 and kick forward. Yes. No maybe problem. either way. <laughs> Very nicely done. Needed it, too, because he was in jeopardy of losing that number two spot to this man right here. Don Nato on a spare, just five. Ooh, thought he had a shot at it with the wood in that position. And it'll be an eight. 67 half for Don Nato. Scott Goss with an opportunity to maintain his lead overall. Can't make any mistakes now. Ooh, hang on. Pulls the ball to the right. Just four. And that should put Rich Lottie into the overall lead when he fills that mark in the fifth. Also opens the door a little bit for Bob Mazur as he steps up for his next box. Eight for Scott Goss. And big moment here for Bob Mazur. First of all, it's a $40 skin. Rich Lottie has a spare up. But Bob just wants to get a mark up to increase his chances of continuing here. Not the greatest leave. And it will be a $40 skin for Rich Lottie. And an eight box for Bob Mazur. So let's check the scoreboard here. It's still very, very close, but advantage Rich Lottie right now because he will be filling a mark and maybe taking the overall lead from Scott Gus when we return on Candlepin Skins. Rich Lottie working on a mark and may take the lead here. You'd like nothing more than this patented strike in the one three pocket right now. It's a $15 skin here in the sixth. Oof. It's an eight drop. He does take the lead and a chance for another mark. Yeah, difficult one though. He's got to be high in the wood to turn it and drive it straight back. Ooh, tried to play it down low and it didn't work. So instead, it's a 10 box. Rich does take the lead by two. Showed 12 there because of the 10 in his additional box, but his lead is two over Scott Goss, who is yet to bowl here in the sixth. Three, six, 10, four, seven for Don, and just sliding by the three. <laughs> Eight for Don. 
Dunn's in a battle right now for second, but not that far out of first. Scott Goss, not much to shoot at there. No, two, four, six, ten. Piece of wood in front of the six, ten, but he's going to have to go after the two, four. Boy, he gave it a pretty good effort, but he'll be open. Trying to match Rich's ten right now. He does, and that will leave the door open for Bob Mazur, knowing that the skin will already be halved either way. It would really help himself by winning the skin, because that means he would put a mark up in the sixth frame. Pretty good hit, but, boy, the two, six, and ten. Now, with the way the wood is positioned, he may have a shot, but Bob's ball breaks the other way, yeah. so... I think he's got to catch some of the two pin. He may try to snap the wood, go by the two pin, snap the wood back into the two pin, but I think he has to grab some of the two. He's going. Oh, how about that? You know, I just like Bob. <laughs> he's making me really look bad today. It was last? Was it last week too? Look at this one. Look at. <laughs> oh, Easy I as guess. you please. I got my glasses changed. I didn't. I never saw that. I never saw that. Oh, That's the mercy. first skin of the day for Bob Mazur. It's worth $15. Box number seven is worth $25. And Rich Lottie <coughs> goes first. And as you said, Dan, that's uh, a big spare for Bob, pinfall-wise. Yeah. And Rich gets robbed on the nine pin. Oh, Bob fills that and gets another mark. He'll be right back in it as well. So this is a long ways from being settled. Don Nato. Don Nato, he's still in it. Look out. Five pin. Wants that front piece of wood to roll to the right, give him a clear shot at it. And he's also going to have a nice angle. He's going to miss, miss to the right. No, he's right on it. Spare for Don. Him the lead for the skin, but more importantly, he's watching that total pinfall. It's got to be tough for the bowlers in this situation, uh, Dan. They're trying to keep an eye on the scoreboard to find out what's going on. And it's like Final Jeopardy. You know, I can yeah. never figure, figure <laughs> out how much you're going to bet and, and beat that person. And <laughs> they got three to worry about. It's very easy. If the leading person has more than twice as much money as the <laughs> next highest person, they shouldn't lose. Yeah. It's very easy. <laughs> but it doesn't always work out that no. way. Scott with the 10. That may tighten things up a little bit more, too. It certainly does. Because Don's working on a spare, as you can see. 13, 14, 15 pins out of the lead. 13 out of second. Oh, Bob no. Mazur on a spare drops nine. Now, where will the wood end up? Oh, it's nice. I think red line or to the left, he's got it. Even if he goes right, I think this, I'll put it down. He's got this. Mark it down. He does, and he halves the skin, so box number eight will be worth $50, and this thing is wide Look open right scores. now. Look at those scores. Look at those scores. <laughs> wow. The two guys who are in the 180s both have marks up, so it's going to get closer. Rich Lottie off the head pin. One, two, and four pins, but then he has also has the ten pin, and now the wood is rolling off. Right Looks there. good. Oh, yes. Yeah, good shot. What a clutch shot that was. At first, I thought he was going to hit it and not get it right here. Came right down and finally knocks the ten pin down. Don Nato now. Oh, light hit and just five. Let's see where the wood settles down. He may still have a chance at this one. You don't suppose we could have a four-way tie, do you? That'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, good effort. Boy, Don had all kinds of things happening down there, and not enough to uh, convert the spare. Got a loose ball down there, too, that's going to have to be cleared away before <laughs> Don makes his attempt on the four and ten, which remain.
And he slipped into the channel anyway, so that'll be an eight box. So the spare up for Rich Lottie, he leads on this skin, but there's still a lot to settle here. Scott Goss. Bowling in his eighth frame, he's not working on a mark. And he doesn't have a spare leave either. <laughs> it was Bob Mazur who was rooting for him to cut it over <laughs> to create the have situation. Oh, and he almost did it. <laughs> Didn't cut it, but he almost got it over there. That's a 10. Pinning well. Well now, there's a big ball right here for Bob Mazur. Spare leads for the skin right now, which is worth $50. That's Rich Lottie's. Bob working on a spare. Crosses over, a little light. Still waiting. Oh, great carry. Oh, great carry and a great setup. That gives him 190 right now, plus this frame. So even with a mark, he's definitely going to help him. He's, he's going to be right back now. He's at 200. Boy, Bob couldn't have asked uh, Dan for anything better on that thin hit. He got the carry he wanted plus the setup he could have wanted. Look at those scores. Two at 200 and two at well, one at 210 and one at 212. And this is also another carryover, so the ninth box here worth $75 as we come down the stretch with nothing decided. No. Oh, oh, wow. Right. Unspare for Rich Lottie. <laughs> what a great spot for it. Explosive strike for Rich Lottie. Here's Don Nato. Yeah. Let's see, Don, you have to convert this. He's got a shot at it. Oh, oh great try. <laughs> Don will take a 10 in the ninth. He's at 108. Not out of it, certainly. No, he's not. Rich Lottie certainly is in a commanding position right now, but it's wide open for second. Oh my, and Scott has another ugly split to shoot at. Three, six, four, seven. No wood. He's got to concentrate on the three and six. Tried to bang it off the wall again. Got to continue to pin. There's still another box. And he does. Gets the 10. Still has a 10th box remaining. He's at 220. Okay, let's reset here. Rich Lottie has a strike up here in the ninth, which is worth $75 unless Bob Mazur can strike. Bob is working on a spare. He's got three marks in a row. Cross is over. He'll have another spare leave. The $75 skin goes to Rich Lottie. And there's the fourth mark in a row for Bob Mazur. Puts him within two pins of Scott Goss for second. So you would assume that Scott Goss is going to need a mark when he gets up. We say Rich is pretty safe, but Rich can't make a mistake on this strike and have a bad frame. Saw Rich with the big money winnings for the day so far. This 10th box is worth $50. Rich and Don have won all but two of the skins to this point. Just six on the strike for Rich. And he wisely goes into the corner for two to get eight and 129. So Rich is at 246 for his two game total. That puts him in because, well, not, not quite, not quite. Don can just put a couple marks up here or a spare with a, a real big fill and then just hope. But There's the spare. He leads for the skin here in the 10th. Pretty good sized skin in its own right. Don Nato's eighth mark of the day. He's had five in this game. Had a big strike earlier to win a $110 carryover. And he fills that spare with a nine. So he got what he could in the final box, a 127, leaves him at 229, which uh, 
Probably is not going to be good enough, but Scott Goss has to try and do something here. Scott really has to put a mark up in order to have a shot against Bob Mazur, you would think. And he gets him. Oh. First strike of the match for Scott Goss. He leads for the skin. And he's giving himself at least a chance here. He's at 2.30 right now, so he has already passed Don Nato. So Don is out of it. Let's say you need eight or more on the strike to force Bob to throw another one. Oh, in the pocket, look out! And Scott gets 20 in the 10th, 113 for a 240. That means Bob Mazur needs another mark. He's needs 20, one more mark, 20, right. Well, 22 to tie, 23 to win. Oh, big ball for Bob Mazur. Nine drop, plank in front of it, chance for his fifth straight mark. He's got Goss the uh, skin for the final Right, the last, the last skin of the day, and Bob has his fifth. Oh, 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 oh. almost missed it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Was that Rich Lottie that said yeah, nice, nice read? read. <laughs> well, guess what? He needs how many? He's at 143. He needs, what, four? Four pins, I believe. To win, yep. Uh-oh. Oh. And he gets seven. Bob Mazur with a 150. He gets 90 pins in the last five boxes. 244. He edges out Scott Goss with the spare fill in the 10th. Scott Goss gets the final skin, and this match, which was close throughout, just 17 pins separated the four bowlers, one through four. Rich Lottie and Bob Mazur advance for the third straight week together. Don Nato and Scott Goss bowl well, but don't quite make it. That's how close it was for Bob <laughs> Mazur on that spare in the 10th. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to Candlepin Skins. Rich Lottie breaks through with a win. He'd been finishing second pretty much on a regular basis. This time he wins it by two over Bob Mazur. But Bob had a little victory of his own there in the final box as he overtakes Scott Goss with five marks in a row to finish the match. Scott Goss and Don Nato very, very close with total pinfall, but not quite enough to advance. So for the third week in a row, both Rich Lottie and Bob Mazur will advance together. Rich Lottie with the bulk of the Skins prize money today, $170, but Don Nato in his first appearance comes up with $150. Scott and uh, Bob Mazur on the board as well, but boy, Bob Mazur, give him credit, he finished with five consecutive marks, and he needed every one. That's right, and his uh, comment was after the show, another big payday. So, <laughs> but he comes back to try to win some Skins next week. So, And for Rich Lottie, uh, next week will be his fifth week in a row, and that will tie a record. Also held by Neil Gosselin and Bob Kelly. So Rich will be trying to break that record as he returns next week along with Bob Mazur. They'll be joined by John Plant and Dennis Shute. And we hope you'll be with us next Saturday at 12 noon here on Candlepin Skins. Don't forget our semifinal match on Stars and Strikes. That'll be tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, on the winds of New England, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good weekend, everybody.